What can I say? This place is beautiful. Mm, that's a good sandwich. And it takes a lot for someone like me to say that. See, I told you it would be worth it. I take a deep breath. The hill is overlooking the city. It's pretty stunning. Say, is there any reason for that huge tree to be planted here? God damn it, Dixie. Holy crap, you're so loud it could be ca caught in my capture. Actually, yes, there is. You can't tell right now, but it's actually a cherry blossom tree. It was donated by a local CEO of a multinational company and it's been growing here ever since. Hmm, pretty impressive. From what I heard, he planted it here to mark what he deemed to be the most beautiful place in the city. You seem to know an awful lot about this person. Well, I read a lot of books. He's somewhat of a legend of the city, too, so it's only natural that I know about him. Actually, I think I've heard this story before. What was his name? Kendi? Or was it Kendrick? <laughs> I'm not even close. Leonard Kinsey. Close enough. The company he formed has close ties to East Asia as well. Explains why, explains why he chose the cherry tree. Yes, it does. Both a business gesture and a sentimental one. He sounds like a great man. He is. But. That last word. But. But what? You started it. It's a blessing and a curse. Just think about it. His story's a glamorous one, right? The way he fought against the odds, overcoming his rivals. A tale of human courage and willpower. Or Pokemon courage and willpower. <laughs> but what about the people he left behind? There's a lot of emptiness. Not for him, really, but for the people who weren't there to witness his struggle against the world. Don't worry about it. You're fine now, right? It hurts. If you're fine now, there's nothing else to worry about. It's as simple as that. The wind sings its hollow song in silence. But if you want to cry, then it's okay. Dixie, why are you snoring logs? I still have a cold. It's alright. Oh, fine, really. But thanks for the offer. Her words vanish into the twilight. She sits very mere inches from me, shielded by a glass wall. It's the closest we've ever been in. I've never felt so far. But I never forget this. This cold wind on her warm shoulder an inch from mine. It's one of those rare, precious moments when you realize that... <laughs> when you realize that each passing second is being written as a memory. Oh, thank God! I can breathe! I can breathe! wonder why that caught up on the capture. Damn it, I need another one. Cold, this place is cold. But this time it isn't lonely. People clutter in the background, lights light the night sky, and music plays from every shop. I feel a sweat tug on my arm. <clears throat> That's still a good sandwich. Cheeks flushed, Mira stands beside me, and excuse me by the way. Her mitten clad hands are soft and puffy, but I can still distinguish each and every finger. I try to speak, but she shakes her head. And we walk. I'm awake. Huh? That was our self-explaining. Self-explanatory. But yesterday evening is still fresh in my mind. It's only natural that I'll dream about her. I'm not... Oh, whatever. Still, I don't know what to make of what happened yesterday. Maybe I shouldn't pray to Mira's past. She's been nice to me so far, and it sounds like there's a thing or two that she wants to hide from me. For good reason, perhaps. Either way, I'm certain that she wasn't lying yesterday. Almost certain. No, I'm definitely certain. There's a 110% chance that she was not lying. None of that was a bluff. You can tell when someone laughs or smiles whether they're faking it or not. Either that or she's a brilliant actress. Good morning, Oni-chan! You're up early again! Seems like it's becoming a bad habit. It's becoming a habit, good or bad. 
don't say it's a good one. I've been busy. I guess that's all. But you haven't been studying, have you? Of course not. I just... My voice trails off, and I'm surprised when she doesn't question me further. You look like you're thinking about something. I woke up. My breakfast is half finished, and my last ten minutes of memory is gone. I told you, it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I know you said that, but... Come on, Rain, it's me. Do you really think I would have anything to worry about? When you put it that way. But still, you're thinking too hard. Huh? Eh? Thinking about what? Whatever it is you're thinking about, just, just stop. That's... I couldn't be that transparent. I mean, things are fine, right? Some roles will always be out of your hands, so you just have to know when to take a break and stop worrying. She's doing it clumsily, but... Thanks. I know what she means. More importantly, I don't think I should be taking life advice from you. That's probably true. But don't forget, sometimes it's good to confide in numbers. It helps clear your head. Well, I wish I had something to confide with right now so I could clear this mucus out of my brain. Wise words from someone like you. I'll keep that in mind. I really want to finish that sandwich. Oh, that's right. Oni Chan, how was your date? It wasn't a date! Oh, really? Then what did you do? Why did I find this lover in your pocket? We just walked around a bit. You walked around for six hours? That just about summarizes it. Well, we weren't just walking, we were walking and... Talking? She doesn't believe me, does she? But, but you already kept this girl a secret from me for so long, and now you're just trying to hide the juicy details of your first date? Don't you trust me? No, I don't trust you. I trust you as much as I trust... As much as I trust my dog, actually. Ugh. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, I forgot it. That teary eyed look stopped working on me half a decade ago. Well, even if I did want to divulge the details, there isn't much I could tell you. So you mean you were alone with her from lunch until, di until dinner and absolutely nothing of interest happened? Yeah, that about summarizes it. I mean, this is a free visual novel on Steam, so I'm not taking away any money from the developers or anything, so that's good. And Steam is pretty strict about their adult content, so... Nothing of the sort happened. I mean, the only thing that Steam would put on with adult content would be the Honey Pop. Exactly. Well, I was supposed to hold an episode about that Kinsey guy could count as interesting, but I should keep quiet about that. Ooh, I suppose I'll let you off for now. But now this, I'll find the truth someday, and someday soon. Better, you better not miss it. Bakuka and Disco Show! And how exactly do you intend on doing that? Ho ho ho! Don't worry about your... Don't worry yourself about that, dear brother! I have my ways! Was that a Gios? That was a Gios! I better go back to sleep. Dear brother! Won't you tell me the details of that date? I shall tell you the details of that date. With the mandatory nonsensical morning conversation out of the way, I slide into my shoes as the clock marches onward. Onward, men! All I have to do is open the door and... Well, this is a new one. Greetings, Mark. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing me in my own house? Never mind that! The important thing is that we have spent appallingly little time together lately. Don't you agree? Little. Sure. Appallingly... Debatable. A sharp tongue as always. As ever, I see. Alright, let's go! Are you okay, Dixie? It might take a moment for this to sink in, but we're not entirely late today. I might go so far as to say that we're early. With the soft world of a power button on Lucas's laptop lights up. By the way, William probably won't be coming today! Really? Why? I'm pretty sure she has tests just like us. 
She said she was sick. She'll probably come tomorrow when it's no big deal. Ugh, I've never known her to be the sick type. Everybody gets sick, Mark. Only you don't get sick because you're an idiot. I know, but... Huh? I'm not sure what I, I was going for there. Anyway, I doubt any of our teachers are mind if she misses a day. Well, everyone gets sick. I know. I get the feeling she doesn't believe me. It's a shame, though. I still haven't properly talked to Williams since that day at her house, considering everything that happened. <laughs> oh, Lucas, did you watch the game last night? Yeah, it was incredible. Shame we couldn't, we couldn't win, but the competition was great. When I see his confident gaze and stylish beard, even I. Uh. Oh, look, the computer booted up. That should make this less awkward. Still awkward as hell. Oh, yay! Can I play? Fine, fine. Just save the replay under your own name. Lucas just averts his eyes in shame. Sometimes I forget he isn't good at every game ever. Hey, hey, Mark. Mm, don't want to watch Ren accomplish something you can't. Uh, that too. But I did. It didn't have even occur to you that I might want to chat. There's a slight possibility. This conversation is hopeless, isn't it? One of Lucas's classmates gravitates to the computer as Ren starts playing. Actually, I kind of wanted to tell you something. Seriously, that's not a thing for you to say. I know you're not the only one who feels awkward here. Whoa, you're supposed to dodge all that? She's just a mid-boss, don't worry, it gets harder. But it's not really that hard, Sherno's an idiot. Isn't that exactly why I should worry? Uh, well, it's about someone you know, so I had to tell you at some point. I really should have mentioned it sooner, but easier said than done. Wait, what are you talking about? But I think I was supposed to tell you that I keep avoiding. Oh, right. It sounds like you're avoiding it too. You memorized that, didn't you? I had to! Instinct isn't always enough to get you through! Dang, and you already lost a few lives. I'm not perfect! Hey, I'm still impressed! So, what's this thing about? Saren contest? Of course not! I'll never lose with these glasses. Heh, <laughs> I knew you were kidding. If you wanted to make small talk, you could have just asked. Actually, that's not what I wanted to say. So then, what did you want to say? You remembered the bookmark? Oh man, that, that is one awesome battle theme! You get sick of it when you hear it in every remix album, trust me! Oh, okay. For anyone who doesn't know, that's, um, you and Owen was her, Flandre, uh, Flandre Scarlet's, uh, extra boss theme from Toho 6. Oh, wait. Oh, it, it may actually be Vermilia, then. <coughs> but is she really the strongest boss of the game? The parasol and frill just make me wonder. Uh, it may be... Maybe Vermilia, or it could be Yuka. Well, you know, it's one of those games. Uh, oh, of course, I'm surprised Lucas hasn't beaten him this yet. I think he prefers the fan art. The Rule 34 fan art. My heart skips a beat. Bookmark, you mean? The bookmark in Noyan's drawer, the one in Lucas's bag, the conversation they were having at lunch, the snowman, her words, her smile, her voice lost in the icy wind, her words, her words. What were her words? That we're gonna find out next time. So, see you guys!